Hi, welcome to Jam Academy. <clears throat> In this lesson, we will review how to simplify algebraic expressions. Now, keep in mind that algebra is just a fancy way of writing a rough method in general form. <clears throat> Let me say that again. Algebra is a fancy way of writing a rough method in general form. By now, you should have already come across some algebraic expressions. Now, an algebraic expression is one in which the arithmetic is written with symbols rather than numbers. The most common use of algebra in physics is in writing formulae. A formulae is an algebraic expression, sorry, which acts more or less like a general recipe in calculating a particular physical quantity or in determining a particular variable. So keep in mind that in order for you to survive in this class, you must be able to simplify algebraic expressions. What I'm gonna do now is just a taste just summarizing the most essential skills that you need in order for you to survive in this course. Keep that in mind. Take for example, let's say um, P is equal to A plus A plus A plus B plus B. This is an algebraic expression. Some people may say it is an algebraic equation. It is much nicer if you see this is a plus a plus a. This is 3a plus 2b. So you see that it is much compact and nicer to write it this way than this way. So, this is the simplified version. So, throughout this lesson, I'm going to give you some tricks on how to simplify an algebraic expression. So, example one. We have 7xy plus 3x minus 2xy plus x minus 5y. You need to understand that in algebra, in physics and math, you can only add or subtract like terms. You can only add or subtract like terms. Let us identify like terms here. These are like terms. These and these are like terms. So we can add 7xy to 2xy. If we do so, we will have here 7xy minus 2xy we could bring them together plus 3x plus x minus 5y so this will simplify to 5xy plus 4x minus y so this is the compact version or the simplified version of the expression. Um, similarly, let's say we have example 2. We have 3x squared 
minus 2x plus 5x squared. So let's simplify this expression. Keep in mind that 3x squared, 5x squared are like terms. So if we simplify, we will have 8x squared minus 2x. We can actually see that, keep in mind that x squared is the same as x multiplied by x. So this is the same as 8x multiplied by x minus 2x. You see x is common, so we can actually factorize x out. So this will be x, 8x minus 2. So this really is the simplified term. Another example will look like 3x plus 2x minus x. This is just the same as 3x plus 2x. This will give us 5x minus x. That will give us 4x. So that is the simplified version of our expression. Now, another thing that I would like for you to remind yourself is how to remove brackets. For example, let's say negative x plus y. This is the same as negative x, negative y. So the negative outside of the bracket multiplies everything inside the bracket. Negative, for example, a minus b is negative a plus b negative times a gives negative a negative negative b is positive b similarly if we have negative bracket negative a negative b what will this be you may post this video and, and, and try to figure it out um, so this will be a plus b now if we have negative bracket x plus 3 plus x this is the same as negative x negative 3 plus x this takes care of this and this is just gonna be equal to negative 3. beautiful isn't it another example would be 2 plus 5x minus 2x plus 2 so we need to take care of this bracket first so we are going to have 2 plus 5x minus 2x minus 2 you would see that this 2 cancels out this 2 and we will be left with 3x well simplified. Let me do another example again. We have negative x plus 1 plus x minus 1. So we have to do the brackets first. This is negative x negative 1 plus x negative 1. This takes care of this negative 1 negative 1 will give us negative 2. Negative 1, negative 1 is negative 2. So these really are some simple ways of simplifying algebraic expressions.